Now, finally, our last act, really funny guy, great beard, please welcome <laughs> Keith Newman. <laughs> exciting thing. For everyone who didn't do anything, thank you. <laughs> that being said, I can tell a story about a bank. <laughs> so around the corner from my house, we have like a citizen's bank. Um, and so when I go home, that's the bank that I usually use. Uh, and the last time I went, they had this TV, I don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> they had this TV screen. And I was like, that's cool, like banks don't usually have TVs. But the only thing they played on the TV was like the same three commercials for Citizens Bank. <laughs> And these weren't like, you know, while you wait, here's how to make a home equity loan. They weren't like helpful commercials. They were like, they had these 30 second clips of like the founding fathers just sitting in a bank lobby, like <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> and they would just like say these ridiculous things that they'd be like having a conversation and they'd just be like, knowing your customers is so important, right guys? <laughs> and things like, you know, a good bank provides quality personal service for its customers. And I was like, I'm already in your bank. <laughs> You're pitching the free services that I'm clearly here to use. <laughs> and like of any of the historical figures they could have chosen, they chose the founding fathers. So they're setting it up so it's like, oh, Bank of America. No. <laughs> That's like, like if you were to go to see a commercial and it's like, come to America's favorite burger joint, home of the king of burgers, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> and um, Subway recently, I don't know if you guys have seen, Subway had this like big summer menu and like the spin they had is like avocado. It's like a cool new summer thing. Uh, so all their posters have these things that are like, just add avocado. Uh, or they have one that says, uh, train super like Apollo. Like no grammar or punctuation there. <laughs> train super like Apollo. <laughs> and so on all their posters they have pictures of Apollo Ono. So for people who don't know, Apollo Ono was like a gold uh, medal winning Winter Olympian. So like they had over 10,000 summer athletes at the Olympics, and none of them wanted to endorse Subway. <laughs> and so like on all the posters it says like, the official training restaurant of athletes everywhere. But like what they're really saying is like, the official training restaurant of athletes everywhere, except the summer Olympics. <laughs> so it's like, Subway's for athletes, but it's athletes who eat at Subway. <laughs> Because like that's not how exercise works. Like I know how exercise works, and it's not by like adding 100 calories and 10 grams of fat to your sandwich. <laughs> like there's no one who gets out of the gym. It's like, oh man, what a great workout. You know what's gonna help me maintain this muscle tone? A 12 inch sub sandwich from a chain restaurant. <laughs> and like don't get me wrong, like I love avocados. I think avocados are great. But like you're still putting the avocado on a Subway sandwich. <laughs> like to me it's like those commercials that's like for this really unhealthy cereal and at the end it's like part of this balanced breakfast. <laughs> and they have this picturesque bowl of cereal and then there's like a cup of orange juice and then there's also a cup of milk. <laughs> like the milk in your cereal is no good. <laughs> it's been so saturated and fucked up by the sugar that you get another cup of milk. <laughs> and then you have like a muffin and an entire grapefruit. <laughs> The only possible way that can be a balanced breakfast is if on the other side of the scale is a morbidly obese man. <laughs> Welcome to America, guys. We're leading the world in Olympic gold medals and obesity. <laughs> and speaking of subways, uh, <laughs> segways, right, guys? Uh, I was in New York City for a <laughs> I was in New York City for the summer, and like there were always like weird people in the subway, and I went down one time, and there was this old man just handing out flyers, and he was saying like, "Try prayer today," <laughs> which I just think is like a really cool business model. <laughs> you know, it's like you know, religion doesn't have to be this big long-term commitment. You just be like, okay, prayer today, toothpaste tomorrow, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> and like whenever I see people like that, I'm just like, that's the crazy guy. That's how I know that I'm normal. <laughs> and, like, I also, I, I like to believe that a lot of things like that are just like society giving you these ideas and that like you're not born with these innate ideas. Yeah, shit's getting real now. Right? <laughs> and so like a good example of that I think is from when I was four years old. Um, I was just like this little ball of energy and I loved just being around people and talking to people. Um, and so like if I was at like 
a family event with my family friends and like my family. And, like, <laughs> uh, like it didn't make sense in my four year old head that like you stop talking, you poop, and then you return to the conversation. <laughs> so I would bring everybody with me and I would just like, sit on the toilet and everyone would just sit on the bathtub and continue talking to me. <laughs> And uh, one day my mom came up to me and she was like, Keith, you really gotta learn to just go to the bathroom by yourself. And I was like, I, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, I'm just gonna sit there? That sounds boring. She was like, no, you know, people do lots of things, you know, so I really like to read a book. And I was like, okay. So the next time I had to go, I go into my room and I grab my favorite book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> Someone had a good childhood. <laughs> So uh, I go back in, I sit down, and I immediately started screaming for my mom. So I'm screaming like, Mom! And she comes running upstairs, she's like, Keith, you know, I thought we went over this, what's the problem? And I just look up at her and I said, I don't know how to read. <laughs> 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 <laughs>